Hello, this is Grace with Solutions with another amazing tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a Gmail account in 2022. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, so for this tutorial, we'll be using Chrome browser and of course, I just opened uh, an incognito browser, an incognito window. Okay, so um, we log on to um, gmail.com. Okay. Alright, then um, of course, we have three tabs here for work sign in and create an account so since it's our first time here we're going to click create an account all right so um i'm going to fill in your name okay so we can use um um okay a random name all right so you're going to fill in your name first name last name username and the password all right so we're going to start with our first name okay so we mark so Right, so your username can also be described as your Gmail account and, and you are free to use a combination of letters, numbers and periods. Alright, so I, I'm going to say Tony Max, so I'm just going to say Tony Maxim. Okay, I can use um, Tony Maxim at gmail.com, Tony.maxim, so it says it's taking. Okay, so you can try another one, maybe you can add them um, a number. Or you can also take um, or use any of these suggestions that Google is suggesting right under here. Okay, so I think maybe I may just go with the first one to the maximum 30. Okay, then you choose your password. It says use eight or more characters with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. So I will just use, um, okay, let me choose my password. Okay, at, all right, repeat that. So you repeat that here. Right, so before I proceed with this tutorial, let me just inform you guys here that this tutorial is in two folds, okay? One, I made this tutorial if you are accessing Gmail from your laptop and also from your mobile. So ensure you watch this video to the very end because um, no matter the platform you're using, either a Windows or an Android platform, you are covered. Alright, so let's continue. So we have, so I click, I'm done with um, filling the fields here and I click next. Okay, it says uh, the password don't match, so I repeat the passwords. Okay, let's see if it matches. Okay, does it match now? It's, okay, it still doesn't match. So let me just uh, okay. So repeat that. All right. So let's see if it match now. It doesn't match. Yes, it does. So I'll click next. Right now, um, it's optional. You can provide your phone number. Okay, for example, I live in Nigeria, so um, that's why I have my country's icon right here. But what? Let's assume if you live in the US, okay, you're gonna see automatically select and um, see your country's um, flag, which is the symbol of your country, just beside the phone number verification option here. The phone number option is not compulsory. Okay, it's it's kind of optional. But I advise you fill it in because um, in case you forget your password or something, Google will, um, they're going to use your phone number to, you know, help you gain or regain access to your account. So since this is just a dummy account, I'm not going to fill in my phone number here. But like I said, it's advisable you fill in your phone number when filling when open your Gmail address. And of course, your recovery email address is also like the, though they said here it's optional, but I think it's compulsory because like. Um, in the case of the phone number option, if you forget your password or for some for some reasons you lost access to your account, the recovery access um, recovery email, email address it's a very viable option whereby Google can help you regain access to your account. So I advise you fill in um, a recovery email address as well. But if you don't have one, no problem. Then you go down where you have your date of birth. You, okay, you fill that because it's compulsory. Compulsory rather. Okay, I can say December. 1995. Your gender, you select appropriate, male, female, or whatever. Select male. Then um, I click next. So I scroll down now. This is the privacy terms and conditions. So you can go right ahead and read that. Okay, study um, the terms governing the usage of your Gmail account. Alright, so when you are done reading, you scroll down and just say, I agree. Alright. Alright, so your account is loading up. 
just Google search to finish up the process. All right, so as you can see, our Gmail account is ready. So we have successfully created our Gmail account, and um, of course, um, you can see here just to confirm it's ready. So Tony Maxin30 at gmail.com. All right, so this is how you create a Gmail address on PC. All right, so stick around for the second part of, of this video because I'm going to switch you to the mobile platforms. All right, so welcome to the second part of this video how to create a gmail account in 2022 so i'm gonna hop into my settings okay and um okay then i go to accounts then i click add account all right then i have a ton of options here of course what i want to look at is google so i just click google i want to add the google account and then you wait for it to load up okay so the next thing you go to where you have your create account here okay and you have two options to create a gmail address for your business or for your or for yourself okay so we'll just stick with the personal account so i click myself all right so you fill in your first name and last name okay so for the first name i guess it's going to fill a random name okay terry okay last name is freddy all right freddy then hit next all right so you fill in your date of birth okay day i can just put um 25th okay december okay 1985 all right then our gender of course you can select your other male or female so i choose male and i hit next okay then you have um some suggestions google is going to suggest some gmail address or addresses to you so you can make your choice but if you're not okay with any of these suggestions you can still go right ahead and um click create your own gmail so I'll, i'm going to click create your own gmail okay now you're going to fill in the gmail account or the gmail id you wish to use now this will form your email address all right so um i can just go right ahead and type in um terry max terry max freddy terry max freddy at gmail.com okay so of course you can use letters or numbers or periods all right Wh whichever one but i think i am okay with just using letters so i click next Terry, Terry Max Friday, that's the name I used. Okay, then you fill in your password. Okay, you said um, there's a tip here. Google says create a password, uh, create a strong password with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. Okay, so I'll click my, of course, you can uncheck this show password so your password is not visible. All right, so I can just say. All right, then I hit next. Okay, symbols, I click, let me just add a symbol. All right, then I click next. All right, so you can either choose to, um, okay, provide your phone number. Okay, if you wish to provide your phone number, you can do that. Or else you can just scroll down and select skip. Okay, so it says review your account info. You can use this Gmail address to sign in later. So you click that and say next. All right, so go right ahead and read the privacy, you know, in terms the terms and conditions regarding the use of your Gmail account. All right, so you can just scroll down. When you are done reading, okay, you can hit I agree. All right, so we are back to our user and account sub menu. So let's confirm if our Gmail account or Gmail address has been created so you go back to your account and you have your user and account then you click google okay so let's confirm good so as you can see this is the gmail address we just created the last one here it says terry max at gmail.com all right so our our gmail address has been successfully created all right so you can confirm that okay now we're going to hop into our gmail application okay let's confirm that um our account has been successfully created so we are going to our gmail gmail application okay so this is google gmail all right so let's just log into our gmail app to be sure that our the new gmail account is up and running 
So we are in our Gmail app now and we want to confirm if our Gmail, the new Gmail address we just created, if it's active. So where you have this icon by your right, you click that. Okay, and you scroll down. Now these are the, these are a list of the email addresses I have on my device. Okay, so this, this is the last one as you can see, Terry Freddy or Terry Max Freddy at gmail.com. So you click that. All right, so it says, welcome to Gmail. Okay. So I'm sure you had value from this video. If you did, please give the video a like, share the video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. So till I see you in my next video, take care and stay safe.